Because NASA, NASA has said there is an invisible monster on the loose. And not just any old monster, it's a runaway black hole that has got a mass of about 20 million suns. Black holes have long captivated the imaginations of scientists and the public alike. With their immense gravitational pull, and the ability to warp the fabric of space-time. However, despite decades of research, capturing a clear image of a black hole has proven to be a monumental challenge until now. In a groundbreaking announcement, scientists have revealed the first real image of a black hole, providing a tantalizing glimpse into the mysterious inner workings of these enigmatic cosmic phenomena. Join us as we explore the significance of this incredible achievement and delve deeper into the world of black holes, where reality is distorted and the rules of physics are bent beyond recognition. Let's take a journey through the history of science and astronomy and explore how the discovery of black holes came to be. For centuries, scientists and philosophers have been fascinated by the mysteries of the universe and the forces that govern it. From ancient civilizations to modern times, humans have sought to understand the cosmos and its workings. It all started with a bold prediction made by English natural philosopher John Mitchell back in 1783. He theorized that there might be invisible objects in space with intense gravity fields that could be detected through the orbit of a star. However, it wasn't until the publication of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity in 1916 that the concept of black holes began to take shape. Einstein's theory suggested that massive objects could warp the fabric of space-time, causing it to curve and distort around them. This revolutionary concept challenged the traditional view of gravity as a purely attractive force between objects. Einstein's theory had many implications for the behavior of objects in the universe, including the possibility of black holes. Black holes are incredibly massive objects that are thought to form from the collapse of massive stars at the end of their lives. When a star runs out of fuel, it can no longer generate the pressure needed to counteract the force of gravity, pulling it inward. If the star is massive enough, its core will simply collapse under the weight of its own gravity, eventually creating a black hole where a star once stood. Despite Einstein's prediction, many scientists were skeptical of the idea of black holes, while others believed they were too exotic to exist in the real universe. It wasn't until the 1970s when astronomers Louis Webster Paul Murden and Thomas Bolton observed an invisible object orbiting a blue star from 6,000 light years away that the first black hole was identified. The object, codenamed Cygnus X1, turned out to be the first black hole ever identified. Cygnus X1 is a binary star system located in the Cygnus constellation, about 6,000 light years from Earth. The system consists of a massive blue supergiant star and a compact object that is believed to be a black hole. In the late 1960s, a group of astronomers discovered that the system was emitting X-rays, a highly energetic form of electromagnetic radiation that is typically associated with violent cosmic events like supernova explosions and the acceleration of matter into black holes. What puzzled scientists studying Cygnus X-1 was the fact that the X-rays were not emanating from the blue star itself but rather from a nearby object that was totally invisible to optical telescopes. This made it practically impossible to get an image of one of these elusive objects on camera. However, through careful analysis of the orbit of the blue star, they were able to deduce the presence of a massive invisible object that could only be a black hole. The discovery of Cygnus X1 turned out to be a groundbreaking moment in the quest to uncover the secrets of black holes. It provided concrete evidence of their existence, validated Einstein's theory of relativity, and opened up a whole new avenue of research in modern astronomy. But while black holes themselves can't be directly observed, their effects on surrounding matter can be detected. For example, when a star orbits a black hole, the gravity of the black hole causes the star to move faster and faster as it gets closer, resulting in a Doppler shift in its light. This can be measured and used to calculate the mass of the black hole. Another way black holes can be detected is through gravitational lensing, which occurs when the gravity of the black hole bends light from a distant object, creating a distorted image of the object that can be observed. 
Despite all the information we've gathered about black holes, there's still so much we don't know. And what's even crazier is that they're not just lurking in the shadows of the universe, they're everywhere. In fact, there may be as many as 400 million black holes in our own Milky Way alone, with at least two trillion galaxies in the observable universe having supermassive black holes at their center, and each black hole is unique, with its own gravitational pull and set of rules. So what are these rules? Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon, and the singularity. First of all, getting past the event horizon of a black hole is no easy feat. The event horizon is the point of no return, beyond which not even light can escape. If you do manage to make it past the event horizon, you'll be sucked further into the black hole to the inner layer. The laws of physics, as we know them, don't apply inside a black hole. It's like a whole different universe in there. Gravity is so strong that it warps space and time, and everything is compressed down to an infinitesimal point, the singularity. The singularity is the heart of the black hole, where most of its mass is concentrated. It's a point of infinite density and zero volume. But don't let all of this fool you. The gravitational pull of the singularity is so strong that even light can't escape it. That's why black holes are called black because they don't emit any light. They turn everything they come in contact with into absolute nothingness. Despite their terrifying reputation, black holes are also fascinating. So how do scientists even study these cosmic beasts? Well, they study the radiation that black holes emit, along with the dust and gas that surrounds them. It's kind of like studying a blurry photograph of a distant object. You can only get so close before your camera is sucked into oblivion which you obviously don't want. So how do scientists make sense of all this? Well, they have theories, of course, lots of them. Scientists have been asking the question of what lies beyond the event horizon, and the answer might be mind-bending to say the least. Instead of just nothingness, what if there's a gate there? A gateway to another universe, another galaxy, or even another dimension? Now, we're not talking about just any old gate here. We're talking about something that would allow us to travel faster than the speed of light, which is currently thought to be impossible. But if we could somehow create the technology to do that, we could potentially journey through a black hole and emerge on the other side in a whole new world. It might sound crazy, but it's not as impossible as it once seemed. Of course, we're a long way from making that a reality. We still have a lot to learn about black holes and the nature of space and time. But the fact that we're even considering the idea of using black holes as a shortcut to interstellar travel is mind-blowing. And if this theory is correct, it could potentially change the world of space travel entirely. But not all scientists think this is possible. Some think that the answer is far simpler, yet no less mind-bending. What if black holes were simply portals to parallel universes or alternate dimensions? Enrico Rinaldi, a scientist based in Tokyo, proposes that black holes can be understood as holograms. Instead of looking at what's going on inside the singularity, Rinaldi suggests examining what's happening on the outside. Rinaldi's theory of holographic duality states that to truly understand a black hole, we must treat it like a hologram. In other words, everything that surrounds the black hole is part of the equation, and the dust particles and gases that swirl around them provide clues to their behavior. Rinaldi suggests thinking of a black hole not as a sink, but as a ring that slowly consumes everything in its path. As it absorbs more matter, it becomes more powerful, pulling in even more particles and gases. This creates a swirling vortex of energy that can be seen from light years away. By studying the patterns of particles and gases around black holes, we can gain a better understanding of how they operate and what they're capable of. Holographic duality has the potential to change our understanding of the entire universe. The theory suggests that everything we see and experience may just be a projection of something else, a hologram of sorts. The holographic principle is a well-established theory in physics that suggests information in a region of space can be represented by information on the surface of that region. In other words, the information contained within a space can be projected onto its boundaries, creating a kind of hologram. If the holographic principle holds true, it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. It could mean that everything we know about the cosmos is just a projection, a mere shadow of something else. 
Some scientists believe that our universe could be just one of many holographic projections, each one representing a different version of reality. This could mean that there are countless parallel universes out there, each one only slightly different from our own. Although all of these ideas are still just theories, the groundbreaking work of the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration has provided us with a stunning visual of a black hole. Sagittarius A-star is the supermassive black hole that resides at the very heart of our galaxy. The image captured by the EHT collaboration provides the first direct visual evidence of a black hole. Although we can't see the black hole itself because it's completely dark, we can see its event horizon, which is the point of no return where light and matter are trapped forever. The recent image of Sagittarius A has confirmed many predictions of Einstein's theory of general relativity, providing new insights into how giant black holes interact with their surroundings. However, Sagittarius A isn't the first black hole we've been able to study in depth. M87, also known as Messier 87, is an elliptical galaxy located in the constellation Virgo and was the first black hole ever to be directly imaged in 2019. M87 emits powerful radio energy, making it the most powerful known source of radio energy among the thousands of galactic systems constituting the Virgo cluster. The luminous gaseous jet projecting outward from its nucleus emits synchrotron radiation, which tells us a lot about the environment around the black hole and the processes happening there. In 2017, M87 made headlines when the Event Horizon Telescope obtained images of the central region of the galaxy that showed an asymmetric ring of radio emission surrounding a dark object, the black hole's shadow. The image provided the first direct evidence of a black hole's existence. The black hole at the center of M87 is a supermassive black hole with a mass of 6.5 billion times that of the Sun. The ring of radio emission around the black hole's shadow is brighter on one side because of the Doppler effect, making it appear brighter as the black hole rotates the material on the side turning toward Earth. Gravitational energy released by gas spiraling down into the black hole produces a beam of electrons accelerated almost to the speed of light which is thought to be the radiation from the bright gaseous jet emanating from M87. These jets are among the brightest objects in the universe, spanning distances of up to hundreds of thousands of light years and playing a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies by heating up and expelling gas, which can limit further star formation. The discovery of M87's black hole and its surrounding disk has provided scientists with an unprecedented opportunity to test Einstein's theory of general relativity which predicts the behavior of gravity on a cosmic scale. With information from studying both Sagittarius A and M87, scientists can finally compare and learn more about these mysterious objects. While we can't get as close to M87 as we can to Sagittarius A, the fact that we can study two black holes opens up many doors for the world of science to learn more about them. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what was your first reaction? when you saw the first real image of a black hole? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.